What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you how you can get the old UI after the brand new Steam update. So as you probably know, Steam has changed the way that it looks. And of course, the update is very polarizing. Not only does it break themes and skins that you had previously, the whole menu and things like that looks different, the download section as well, but most importantly, also the in-game menu. So firing up Counter-Strike and hitting Shift-Tab, you'll see the new Steam overlay here. It's got all these different Different buttons at the bottom, the new settings layout, friends list, etc. A lot of people aren't fans of this new UI, and I don't blame you, it's a huge change. I personally like it, but of course I can see why you wouldn't. The good news is, is that while we can't roll back Steam to a previous update, we can however, for now, and at least hopefully into the future, use the old UI and keep Steam up to date, which is the best of both worlds. All you do first is exit Steam completely by clicking Steam and exit, then we'll need to find Find a Steam shortcut that takes us to where it's installed. So for example, I have a Steam shortcut here on my start bar. I'll open a file location. This is the same as searching for it and opening the file location. And now we're taken here to our start menu, Programs Steam. All we need to do is right click this shortcut here and choose Properties. Now, obviously, if you don't have this shortcut here, you can navigate to where Steam is installed. In my case, it's C Program Files 86 Steam and Steam.exe. You can right click this and create a new shortcut on your desktop, for example. It'll place it here, so I'll just move it to my desktop. All we need to do is find a shortcut that we'd like to customize and start Steam with the old UI with. So, for example, if I want to use the shortcut in my start menu for this, we'll need to head to where it is, right click the shortcut properties, and in here, we'll need to change this part at the very top. So it has quotes around either side of where the Steam EXE is, space followed by hyphen VGUI, and that's it. Hit apply, and the next time you fire up Steam using this shortcut here, or any shortcut for that matter that you customize, you'll be greeted with the old loading screen, and finally, the old homepage here. On the library, you can see things look a bit different. This is the old way that Steam used to look. Even better yet, if we open up Counter-Strike, for example, you'll see that we have the old shift tab menu here. So the old browser, the old friends list, friends, guides, etc. Everything's back to the way that it used to be, which is good for you if you enjoyed this last layout type. Now, obviously it's interchangeable. If you were to exit Steam and fire it up from a different shortcut that you haven't customized with hyphen VGUI, you'll end up with the most up-to-date Steam UI once more. It's a nice way of switching between these. And of course, as long as you customize any shortcut you'll be launching Steam through, you'll always be launching the old version instead of the new updated look. Anyway, that's about it for this super quick guide. Hopefully you found this useful. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.